More Lego again. So currently in the fish room, I've got a full water change going on every single tank, so it's quite noisy with all the water. But this is so cool and easy to do nowadays with my water change system I've got, which is just a hose pipe going into the garden. Hang on, why don't I show you? See this tank here? Hose pipe going straight into the garden, then I've got another hose pipe connected to the tap, fill them all up, no time at all, all the tanks will be full. But you know what, annoyingly, I am not yet a fully fledged professional YouTuber, so right now, I have to go to work. Okay, good news first, work is finished. Bad news is, I broke my glasses. <laughs> So yes, I do wear glasses. I have to wear glasses for like computer work, stuff like that. I just get tired, see, if I don't wear them and I do a lot of computer work, as you can imagine with all this vlogging. But you know what, who cares? We can always buy more glasses, right? In fact, I'm gonna try and just glue them. Just glue them whilst I order others because I can't go without them. Click subscribe. Okay, Goo Goose. Okay, ready, go. Ready, steady, go, go, go. Okay, right, we'll just, we'll try this another way. Oh, what's this big orange thing? Ready, get it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've just realized I'm playing fetch with my daughter. <laughs> These things aren't that healthy for you, but they're really, really tasty. I know quite a lot of you, are, oh, that fan's on. So I know quite a lot of you are gonna be asking me questions about the water change system in a bit more detail. So let me just go over it again quickly for you, exactly what I do, what fitments I use. It just makes everything so much easier. Okay, so this is the inlet pipe. So all it is, is a little piece of tubing I found on like an old filter and I just adapted this. I don't know why I put that on there. Yeah, oh yeah, I done that so just to give it a bit of extra length so it goes to right to the bottom of the aquarium. And then I just add a little t like turn thingy <laughs> that I put in between the hose. There you go, so you just hook it over, get the siphon going the other end, take it to the garden, suck it out. And then you've got a tap so you can open and close it so you can move it between tanks and that way I don't have to restart the siphon each time as well. So yeah, it's really simple, does the job nicely. And then for filling everything up. Ugh. Oh, that's too bright. So for filling everything up, again, it's just another hook piece. And then I've just got elastic band on some filter floss, filter, filter, sponge filter sponge on the other end just so the water just comes out nice and gently and doesn't just spray everywhere other end of the of the pipe we've got just a simple hose clip and then i bought this contraption online which is basically just this it's well you just stick it on the end of the tap turn it tight and then this can clip into it job done now there are loads of different types of taps obviously so you can get loads of different types of these you just have to find the one that suits your tap a simple search on amazon and you should find the one you need and it's a lifesaver i've got one of those taps that like mixes hot and cold together so i can get the right temperature which i can check it first and then just fill up all the aquariums and for transferring it in between aquariums i just plonk that outlet into like a jug move it across and take the jug away and then that way you don't spill anything anyway you don't have to keep stopping it and starting it and yeah it works really good Oh, that went well. OK, 
Okay, we have a slight problem, guys. So I'm stood in front of my wild look sort of guppy aquarium, the breeding tank, and look at it. It's gone a little bit hazy. Now, I think this is caused from like a, too big of a water change. So yesterday, I did about 40, 50%. I've never actually done that on this aquarium before. I stirred around a lot of detritus and everything that was caught up in between the plants. And as a result of coming this morning, it's looking really cloudy. To be honest, it looked more cloudy than this when I first came in this morning. It's been a few hours since I turned the light on, but. I've never had this happen to me before. I mean, I've had a cloudy aquarium, don't get me wrong, but that's always been in like a no filter setup. If anything, it's over filtered and yet this has happened. I've got no idea why. Now I could put some chemicals in there that would actually solve this straight away, binding the algae together. It's like a floating algae, this one. It's not like a green dust algae. It's algae that lives in the water column, like tiny microscopic little pieces and they can just multiply in their billions in no time at all. You can't see them with the naked eye. You need to see it under a microscope. Now you can actually get them to bind together with an egg agent and then that takes them out but I don't think we need to resort to that straight away what I'm basically going to do is just leave it to its own devices and hopefully it's all going to be pretty decent in no time at all and it will sort itself out fingers crossed anyway <laughs> So guys, I'm now stood in front of my new paludarium. This is the first time I've done anything like this. Well, I've done paludariums before, as you guys know, but this is like one that's set up for amphibians. And I haven't got anything in there yet, animal-wise, because I didn't want to rush into things. I didn't want to step into the unknown too quickly. And I wanted to make sure everything was growing and I set it up right, because like I say, I've not done it before. But the good news is everything is growing fantastic. All the ferns and all the plants that I put in have got new growth coming out of it, which means obviously I've I would assume that I set it up right. This is great news. It means that very shortly I'll be able to get the wildlife that I want and be able to put it in there, the amphibians. Look, I mean, obviously loads of you already guessed, it's set up for a frogs, isn't it? Let's be honest, this is perfect sort of set up for a frogs. Many of you guys that are more experienced with frogs said they're absolutely fine with water. They can swim, not great, but they can get out. You just gotta make sure that there's a route out of the water for them, which I'm putting plenty of bits of woods and that in the bottom section for them so they can actually get out. But yeah, white's tree frogs is what I wanna go for in this one. I'm really looking forward to getting them. They're really, really cute looking. I mean, I'm sure there's other animals that would make a bigger draw for like YouTube viewing, but you've got to get the animals that you want. And, and the white tree frogs is the ones that are really screaming at me. And I keep going back to keep researching, keep looking at, you know, I'm looking all the time, what can I get for this? But they're the ones I keep going back to. And you've got to go with the ones that you want and you enjoy over anything. And that way you'll enjoy them the most, put the most care into them. And it's just oh, it's going to be so much fun having something like that right in my studio. Ooh. 